Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be trying on early 2000s low rise jeans. Everybody was very scared of these when I was alive in the early 2000s, but um, now they're back and I'm gonna give them a try this time. And no um, early 2000s low rise jeans would be complete without a very skimpy rhinestone G-string. So that's what we're gonna be trying on today with it. Okay, oh. Almost forgot to put on the G string. Um, let's see, how the heck does this even work? Okay, nope, this way? Yeah, okay. Oh, it's like a, nope, and it just broke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna knot the G string. I'm gonna just do a little quick fix. All good now. Um, definitely gotta pull it up high. Very cute. Okay, let's get the pants. And I am gonna switch tops because I'm wearing a dress, so it doesn't really go. Um, woo. It's, these pants are very hard to get on. Um, you can see they do not go up very high at all. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you a better angle in just a sec. Let me get my top on. I'm gonna wear a long sleeve white top like this. It's very stretchy and tight. And I think it is perfect for the 2000s look. Okay. This is my favorite t-shirt right now. Once you got the jeans on, adjust that just a bit. Yeah, and then make sure it's the same in the back. Hide that little tie. There we go. And then this is the final look of the jeans. As you can see, low rise jeans make your butt look really good, but it can kind of make you have a muffin top and that is what everyone hated back then. You can tell me what you think. I personally wouldn't wear them, but it's fun every now and then like for an Instagram video or something like that. Okay, well, thanks everybody for watching and let me know in the comments what you think about low rise jeans coming back into style. And if you want to see more of me, you can follow me at parisbush.com. Bye.